Haven't you compromised? You know, I got to tell you something. I'm really sick of the world in which we live. I'm tired of it. I hear Christians make excuses all the time. They live together outside of marriage. They call themselves Christians. They live in sexual sin. They call themselves Christians. They curse and they swear and they pay money for films where there's blasphemy. They call themselves Christians. How many petty compromises do you think it takes? I think it's a good question, isn't it? Judas asked it. What's the difference? Peter denied him three times. Judas only did it once. What's the difference? And then some of the Christians that are the most irritating are the ones that make their whole life all about them. It's my sorrow. It's my pain. Everyone around me must change because of me. It's just a tricky way of making life about yourself. That's all that is. You think you'll fare better? That's what compromise does, isn't it? They were all a bunch of compromisers. And so are we. So what makes us different? We call tonight Good Friday. It is a Good Friday. But it's only good if we admit that the darkness that we have is real. That even the smallest of compromises is too great a compromise. And we take our compromises and we lay them at the foot of the cross. There is a difference between the other 11 and Judas, by the way. And there is a difference between Judas and you. Judas was sorrowful. But do you want to know what Judas did with his sorrow? He stayed there. He remained in sorrow and in grief. He just stayed. He wallowed. He wallowed so much that he hung himself and died. And right now, as we talk, Judas is in hell, make no mistake. According to John 17, Jesus himself said he is the son of perdition. Judas stayed in his sin. He did not turn back to Jesus. And that makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Why is Peter saved? Because Peter turned back to Jesus. Why are the other ten saved? Because they turned back to Jesus. That's why. This is a good Friday because your darkness, my darkness, that is very real, was laid on the shoulders of Jesus Christ. And he took it. All of your petty compromises, all of my petty, prideful compromises, put on the shoulders of Jesus Christ, all of our judgmentalism, all of our Pharisaism, all of our envy and greed and self-righteousness and cruelty, all of our us and them, all of it, he put on his shoulders. So here's why it's a good Friday. Admit your stuff. Stop rationalizing your stuff. Stop making excuses for your compromises and turn to him. 
be forgiven. Let the sins of others that have harmed you forgive them. Put those on Jesus. Put it all on him because he took it all for us. What's the difference between us and Judas? Jesus. Jesus died for Judas too. Judas didn't go back to him. And that made all the difference in the world. Because Jesus died for you. And Jesus died for me. And Jesus forgives us. All we need to do is trust in this night that Jesus Christ took our sin and our shame. So as we leave tonight, leave reflecting upon the goodness of this night that Jesus Christ has forgiven you, that he has washed you clean, that he's made you whole. You aren't Judas. Neither am I. Turn to him and receive the grace that can only come through his blood-soaked hands. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. You are a good, you are a holy, you are an awesome, and you are a gracious God. Thank you for sending your beloved son, Jesus Christ. We have all tasted of his goodness and we have all walked away. But thank you, Lord, that you allow us to come back. Forgive us, restore us, and renew us in your powerful name. Amen. We now continue.